Hi, I want to do a quick tutorial for the Physics Classroom Concept Builder I'm asking you to do today. Um, or, yeah, I guess it's today, so it's October 30th. First of all, when you go to the Physics Classroom link, make sure you log into your account. So that's in the upper left-hand corner. When you do that, you should see a, a different page than I'm seeing right now, which is one which shows you what's assigned. So for the Concept Builders, the one that's assigned now is under Newton's Laws of Motion. It is balanced versus unbalanced forces. Oops. When you click on it, make sure when you launch the concept builder, I think it'll take you directly to this page, that your email is something that's noted when you log in. Otherwise, it's not going to record your scores. So I'm logged in, so we're good. So you only have to do one of these, but honestly, I think these are pretty good to do. If you complete the apprentice level, you get six points out of ten points possible for the standard. Master level, eight points. Wizard level, twelve points. So I'm going to go to the master level and do a couple of examples. So the motion of a leftward moving object is represented by a position time graph. Consider positive direction to be to the right. So we haven't done too much with these particular graphs yet, but um, we have done a lot with graphs. So if you look at position, you look at time, it's asking you whether something is speeding up, slowing down, or a constant speed. Well, if the rate of position is changing at a constant rate, that has to be a constant speed. Big idea with all this is if you have balance forces, we have no motion or no change in motion, so that would be a constant speed. Unbalanced forces, we would have a changing motion. So I think that's okay. This is something I want to point out. So these particular um, types of representations are called motion maps, or they call them dot diagrams here. Essentially, the way you can think about it is if every interval of time, and it doesn't matter what it is, but most people tend to think of it as like every one second, as long as it's an even interval of time, it doesn't matter. Think about something being dropped. So in other words, it's like a car is moving and an oil drop is leaking every one second. Or the air conditioning in the summer is dripping a drop every one second. And you notice those. So when these are spread evenly, it says we've got a constant speed. When the dots are getting further apart, the object is speeding up. When the dots are getting closer together, the object's slowing down. If you're unsure, you can always go to the Help Me Sometimes it tells you some specific things about this question. It tells you the different versions, how to think about the situation, and then the other thing that is sometimes very useful, and it's down here at the bottom, is learn more from the Physics Classroom tutorial. So that would be like if I don't know about dot diagrams, I would go to that and there's a quick view of those types of things. Now, maybe not that quick, but it gives you the idea and you can probably get the idea pretty quick. And then you can go back here and answer the question. The only thing that's weird is, is it switches it back to the small screen, so I want to go to the large screen. So in this case we would have a constant speed, balance forces. My hope is that they're going to get showing you some free body diagrams soon. So that's a free body diagram. They should be labeled, but um, forces acting upon a downward moving object. So this is a downward moving object. The force down is less than the force up. So my bet is there's a net force or unbalanced force upward, but you're moving downward. That's going to happen, and that's going to happen. So those are the general ideas. I'm not going to continue with this. Uh, you'll get unique situations, and again, I'd encourage you to try uh, if you do an apprentice or master level, try the um, try the wizard level, and I'll, you'll get those full points. Thanks.